little bit nervous, honestly, because you know how this works, right? You decide to embark on a big project or change something in your life. And you tell all of your friends and family, you announce it to them. And because they're watching, your project becomes a lot more real. Your commitment becomes a lot more real, right? So that's exactly what I'm doing right now, except it's not just friends and family, it's a few hundred thousand people watching on YouTube. Yes, I'm talking about you. <laughs> so no pressure, right? No pressure. <laughs> so before I tell you about my huge, massive expedition, and before I answer all of your questions about it, because that's what I'll be doing throughout this video, I wanna give you a bit of background as to why I've decided to do it. So, let's go. I'm Ava and I'm a full-time adventurer. I want to bring you on a journey that's all about being brave, experiencing the world and feeling truly alive. My travels have been one hell of an adventure so far, but last summer I bought an old Land Rover Defender and converted it into an off-road expedition truck. I now wander around the world and live in my 4x4. Hit subscribe to join my adventure crew and watch real raw travel videos every week. I spent the last four years of my life traveling the world and making videos on YouTube about my travels. It's been freaking amazing. Welcome to the beautiful Damien here in Afghanistan. We made it to the summit of the tallest mountain in Antarctica. Here we go in the mountains of Ukraine, <laughs> arranging beautiful carpets just to take a picture. Traditional oh. style. This is true nomadic hospitality. We just got invited for a cup of hot sweet tea at the lunch spot of Ali Reza Mukhtari, who is the brother of Horshid Arost. Take a look. <laughs> I'm on top of the mountain and there's a view of the sea. I'm so lucky. Every day I wake up and I'm like, how did I get here? I'm so freaking lucky. But I've had a few insights along the way that are encouraging me to change the way I travel and the way I live. And here's why. The travel niche on YouTube is a very interesting little world. In the travel niche, there's so much pressure to be continuously traveling, consistently, weekly, putting out great content from completely different parts of the world. You're expected to be hopping on planes from one continent to the next on at least a monthly basis to share diverse stories from different parts of our planet, of different cultures and different tribes and different communities every time something new and something different and something exciting. And guess what? It's unsustainable. I've had this battle going on in my mind over the last year since I started overlanding, living and, and creating with Odyssey, my truck. Because I've seen that some of you have commented saying that I now no longer give you these beautiful, diverse human stories from all around the world. And you know what? It's true. I get it. Because I don't do that anymore. And I don't do that because four years of doing exactly that has left me feeling really drained on the verge of burnout. Because it takes a lot, a lot of mental energy to try and tell people stories always something new, always something exciting, week in and week out. I don't think it's possible for me to continue in this way because my mental health has been suffering and I've come to realize that I cannot tell these stories deeply enough if I'm just spending a few days living with someone or learning about someone's culture. It's not possible. So the only story that I can tell really well is my own, the story of my own journey. That is the only story that I can tell authentically. And the only thing that really truly matters is my state of mind. If I'm doing something that I love, like traveling the world, and yet it leaves me feeling burnt out because I'm doing it too quickly, <laughs> too intensely, <laughs> what's the point? Do you know? I just want to like take my time. I want to, uh, I want to experience things on my own terms. I want to, be able to create with a free mind that is unencumbered by this pressure to always be in a new place. I just wanna do this life thing on my own terms. And I don't wanna have to think too much about the YouTube algorithm. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I just want to see what it means to be a human living in such a massive world. Oh, that feels so right to me. You know, I don't want my journey to be choppy and divided by oceans and plane rides. I want it to be continuous. I want to see how I can grow 
create within one very long continuous journey. And I'm sure it's gonna teach me some patience, which is something I sorely need. Okay, so my solution to all of this, to do the thing I've been dreaming of doing, a really massive journey, even if that means pivoting on this channel, even if that means that some of you will not stick around, even if that means risking two years of my life to do a project that I don't know if it will succeed or not, I don't know if people will like it or not, I, I just, I don't know but I feel like I have to do it for me, for myself, you know, for my own journey. So let me introduce you to Expedition Wild. I will spend the next two years of my life driving down the longest motorable road in the entire world, the Pan American Highway. Yes, I'll be all alone and yes, I'll be driving in my Land Rover Defender Odyssey. The Pan American Highway is 19,000 miles or 30,000 kilometers of road stretching from the very north of Alaska all the way down south to Ushuaia in Argentina, crossing two continents and 14 countries on the way. But my route, of course, will be longer than that. My journey officially starts in Mexico City, which means I still have to drive 5,000 miles north towards Alaska before I can start heading down south. So that means I'll be driving at least 24,000 miles, but honestly, that's a modest estimate. I would say 30,000 miles or 47,000 kilometers is probably a good estimate. Okay, well, I bet you have questions. <laughs> yes, I announced it, I announced it. Now you know. So you might be wondering how long is this whole thing gonna take? probably two years. I mean, technically you could drive down the Pan American Highway in like two or three months if you wanted to, if you're just driving and doing nothing else. But you know, I wanna take my time. I wanna live life along the way. I wanna live the experience fully. So I estimate two years, but it could take longer. It could definitely take longer. Mm. Here's my dirty laundry drying out. What a beautiful drying rack, isn't it? Don't you think? Amazing, it just works. So, will I be alone? Yes, <laughs> I'll be alone. I mean, I'll have friends joining me along the way, I'm sure, and there is a really big surprise coming in just a few weeks, but yeah, mostly I'm planning to be driving alone. And the next follow-up question to that, of course, is, am I scared? Let's talk about that, fear. <sighs> fear is the mind killer, a little death. You know that quote? So in general, I would say fear is not something that I pay much attention to. Fear is not something that I think about in advance of feeling it. <laughs> I try to listen to my gut whenever I'm scared and usually it helps me to quickly escape any situations that might be fishy or iffy. So no, I'm not really scared. There's one thing that I'm concerned about and that's grizzlies up in Alaska and Canada. I am definitely, definitely scared of bears. So I'll have to be careful there. But I know that there's solutions to that. The bear spray, bells, and other kinds of things. So that's one thing I'm scared of, definitely. But driving down the Pan American Highway itself, I think there's no need to fear something in advance. There is no need to preoccupy your mind with thoughts of fear if you haven't even started doing the thing that you fear so much. There is no fear. It's not an objective thing that exists out there in the world. Fear is a construct in your imagination. So I'm deciding not to pay too much attention to it. <laughs> wow, that was very deep. That came spontaneously. But I'm not like, you know, superhuman. Of course I feel scared once in a while. Of course I feel fear. Who doesn't? The point is, I will definitely be scared at some point, but I'm trying not to think about it in advance because there is no point. It doesn't help. You know, I'm gonna plan everything as well as I can. I'm gonna stay in safe spots as much as I can. So why should I be scared? So yeah, definitely will feel fear at some points, but choosing not to think about it in advance. Next question. Will I be vlogging the entire thing? Of course I will be. So if you stick around, you'll get to see this crazy, crazy long journey and 
who knows? Maybe you'll enjoy it. Maybe one day I'll find you here. <laughs> Will I write a book? <sighs> Give this video a thumbs up if you think I should write a book. I'm thinking about it. Those of you who know a thing or two about the Pan American Highway might be wondering, what about the Darien Gap? The Darien Gap, for those of you who don't know, is an infamous, mysterious and dangerous stretch of jungle between Panama and Colombia. It is impossible. There is no road there. It's just jungle filled with wild animals and snakes and ancient trees and cartels. <laughs> You cannot drive over land there, you cannot. I mean, I think someone has tried and I think they made it, but it took them two years of bushwhacking. Like, no, thank you, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so the only way to actually cross the Darien Gap these days is to ship your car or your vehicle on a cargo ship in a container um, from Panama to Colombia. So that's what I'll be doing. <sighs> Back to my little interview chair. Well, this was nerve wracking and very, very exciting. <laughs> I hope you found it exciting too. Now, I know that for some of you, this might not be something that you signed up for when you followed me here on YouTube, because, you know, from now on, I will not be traveling to a different continent every month. I will not be doing very quick, dynamic stories about all kinds of different faraway places. I will be following my own journey and it's gonna take time. And I think it's gonna be really beautiful. I can't wait to, meet all the amazing people that I know I'll meet along the way and I can't wait to share some of their stories with you and I can't wait to share my own story of a two-year <laughs> a two-year endeavor with you too. So if you choose to stay and follow along um, you might be wondering how you could contribute and if that's what you want to do then just stick around. Come follow me on Instagram that's where I post pretty much daily updates a little bit ahead of time um, but YouTube is you know is the best way of kind of supporting my projects and share my videos with your friends your families your communities tell them about what i'm doing and if you want to go that extra mile then feel free to join me on patreon if that's something that you feel you could do um, patreon is basically a subscription service where i post some extra content you know a little bit early on early announcements some exclusive content as well don't worry, of course, all of my videos will always be free here on YouTube and over on Instagram. Patreon is just a little extra for those who feel like they want to support me and for those who feel like they can support me in a monetary way. That sounds very official, but that's what it is. I'm an adult now. I should be able to talk about these things comfortably. And of course, yeah, there's another way that you can help me out. And if you see on Instagram, for example, that I'm about to pass down your hood, just Send me an email and if you want to host me, you know, I'd love that. So that's it. What's next? What's next? Good question. The official start date of Expedition Wild is the 20th of May, 2022. And uh, no, this is not my motorbike. It belongs to uh, my neighbor at this campsite who uh, lent it to me. So. I'm gonna go to the store to buy some groceries and I'll see you in next week's video! <laughs> Woohoo! Oh yeah, there's one thing I forgot to say. Next week's video will be a bit of a tour of Odyssey because I want to show you what's inside this truck and basically where I'll be living over the next two years. So that's that. Okay, now really, see you. <laughs>